every day. They make me proud. We know what we got going on here in Pittsburgh. It's great stuff. And while one candidate's out there talking about building walls to be, keep people out, in Pittsburgh, the city of bridges, Hillary Rodham Clinton talks about building bridges, about bringing people together. Who better to tell us why Hillary is the best woman for the job? Who better than the one who knows her best? As a person, as a powerful leader, as a powerful voice for children and educators, who better than the real president in the house? PSEA brothers and sisters, honored guest, it is my privilege to introduce the 42nd President of the United States, Bill Clinton. I think it's worth pointing out that the people that knew her best and had worked with her longest were most enthusiastic and most trusting to give her the enormous responsibilities awaiting the next president. Staggering potential and profound problems will drop in the lap of the new president on the day she, I hope, takes the oath of office. She won in New York, in every borough in New York City, and she won all these major cities upstate because it's been a long time since she was a senator and she left office before the crash. So a lot of these upstate counties are in the same trouble that rural counties in Pennsylvania are in. And they're just, you know, vulnerable to the claim that both parties are equally at fault and everything's a mess and throw all the bombs out. But in, the, in Buffalo, in Syracuse, in Rochester, there were physical manifestations of the jobs she brought there when she was a senator. When Hillary ran for re-election, the head of the Farm Bureau of Long Island, Joe Gergela, endorsed her. The media rushed up to Joe, and they said, did you really do that? He said, yeah. He said, I thought you were Republican. He said, I thought I was too. He said, all I know is I've been out here a long time trying to save these family farms, and she is the only person whoever went to Washington and actually did something for us. I got a before. She believes upper income people in the top 1% or higher should pay higher taxes, which you should lose those taxes to help people create new jobs in modern manufacturing, in modern technology, things that will grow the economy and pay it for an infrastructure program that will put millions of people to work with jobs that can't be exported. The only thing that's threatening our recovery is the political gridlock in Washington. You need to have somebody, everything she did as a senator, everything she did as Secretary of State, she always found a way to get some Republicans to work with her. And she will again. Now, if you believe that, she's the obvious choice. If you believe nothing good's ever going to happen again, so we might as well just have Armageddon and fight it out until there's one person standing. She's not your choice. She will show up and take her hand off the Bible and go to work and try to make something good happen. And if the past is prologue, she will succeed beyond anybody's expectations. That's why I'm grateful for your support. And why I want you to make sure she wins Pennsylvania in six days from today. Thank you. God bless you.